Hello there, I'm the Beast Manager and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Now, today, um, I thought that we could uh, try to uh, do a little bit of uh, taming of some of our geysers and uh, volcanoes. Um, I was thinking about uh, building a uh, cooling loop over here to take care of both this cool vent and this one. Um, even though the wizards can do the job for a little bit, uh, over time they become... Um, uh, well, it becomes too much for them. That's why I, I built a couple of uh, ice temper sh temperature shift, uh, shift plates just to bring the temperature down a little bit and uh, allow the wizards to uh, keep working. Uh, but a more permanent solution will be required. And I think I'm going to use this space over here to do that. Uh, we will not require a lot of things. One um, a steam generator and one aqu aqua tuner should be more than enough to deal with whatever uh, this uh, location has to offer. And, uh, you know, bring the temperature down a little bit because uh, things are getting a little toasty out here uh, because of the heat produced by the steam vent is leaking uh, through the metal tiles that we put over here just to... Uh, allow the wizards to absorb uh, this heat. Well, it's leaking a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. So, first thing, let's tame both of these uh, cool vents with one uh, aqua tuner steam combo. And then, after we are done with that, I think we should uh, go after this gold volcano. Uh, for this one, we actually only need a uh, steam turbine and a couple of... Um, uh, shipping um, items like the auto sweeper, the conveyor loader, and uh, a loop with the rail and a couple of uh, sensors so that we can, uh, you know, get the gold at a reasonable temperature, not a thousand degrees, but uh, something more like a uh, one, 150 or something like that. Uh, that would be more preferable, but uh, yeah. That is for. What is this? Unidentified subspecies, unknown mut mutation. Oh, that's the uh, strange plants uh, update thingy. That's uh, something that I have to mess mess with. Uh, but uh, in the future, we have time. There is no rush. So uh, give me a moment, guys, while I um, do a little bit of planning over here. And uh, once I have something uh, worth showing you guys, I will bring you guys back. So, guys, uh, pardon my monstrosity, but. Uh, I think this will work pretty well. So, we are going to have the uh, steam turbine thermo aqua tuner combo over here. This is going to be used to uh, cool the the, a bunch of polluted water that we are going to put in a cooling loop. The first um, part that the cooling loop is going to cool, it's going to be the... Uh, this one, there's a cool steam vent over here, because this one we are going to tap uh, this pipe into our waste gate, into our waste uh, pipe over here, and it's going to our filtration system and uh, supply our um, uh, water tanks and whatnot. Uh, so we kind of want to dump most of the chill in here. We want to cool off this water as much as we possibly can. So with that in mind, uh, this is the first part uh, of the cooling loop and it, it is the most uh, intricate you know there is a couple of uh, radiant pipes over here not all uh, are radiant pipes most are granite pipes but there are a couple of radiant pipes over there just to uh, help distribute that chill then we are going to do a loop over here just to remove a little bit of the heat that has been accumulating over here and then we are going to proceed into the second cooling loop, which is uh, far more uh, simpler. We're just going to come here and um, dump a bunch of chill, or whatever chill remains, in these metal tiles over here. And then we are going to leave. Uh, these are radiant pipes, so uh, the, the, it should be a, a efficient uh, uh, temperature, uh, temperature uh, shift. Now, during the, ve the first... Uh, rounds that the cooling loop is going to do, it's most likely than not that the polluted water is going to get pretty hot and uh, it's not going to chill too much. But, you know, as time goes on, we are starting to we get to siphon more and more um, 
uh, heat from this area and eventually the, the loop will stabilize at the intended uh, temperature which is going to be pretty low given that I want to uh, remove as much heat from this um, part as possible this one over here it's whatever I truly don't care too much about the temperature over here and because of that <coughs> we are going to bring the um, heavy watt wire down here I kind of wanted to avoid that but hey we have to do this and so I'm going to disassemble this conductive wire and I'm going to bring the uh, transformer down here that way we have uh, a few steps for several transformers should we need in the future we never know what other kind of machinery we'll think about uh, building in here so this is uh, what must be done <coughs> I am now will allow my dupes to start building, 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 and then um, hopefully it shouldn't take too long for them to uh, get this done. Having the jet suits is quite helpful. Uh, it allows the dupes to build stuff where uh, you otherwise would have to build a ladder system to get there. I still built a ladder system, of course, but still so useful. And let me tell you, this cool steam vent, once it starts going, Jesus Christ, it never shuts up. Like, uh, let me take a look. 335 seconds versus 170 seconds. So, yeah, wow, it's uh, almost double. This, <laughs> wow, that's a lot of water. Okay, I'm uh, going to enjoy that. Given that uh, this chamber is already done, let's uh, lock it in, uh, allowing the uh, water to start to collect and uh, once we have power I will vacuum out the place and then uh, we will have a perfectly sealed um, cool steam vent uh, that is being tamed uh, and I think all the pipes are uh, are done, yep five uh, radiant uh, lines is probably enough to uh, cool this off uh, significantly alright now we have to build the uh, central nervous central nervous system of this entire operation, and uh, that is probably going to take a little bit of time. And uh, still, I would like to get this line built as fast as possible so I can deconstruct the other line and uh, do the all all the adaptations, especially the transit tubes, so that you guys don't have to go all the way up the ladders. But uh, oh well. Uh, Okay, not any, not everybody wants to uh, take the transit tube access. Some of them probably afraid. In any case, guys, let's continue the build. All right, guys. So I think we can start filling up our loop with some uh, polluted water. This water this water is rather hot. However, I don't think there is a problem of uh, start filling it up with a little bit. Um, of polluted water because it takes its time. Uh, this time I'm just going to plug directly into the line and um, this should start filling it up slowly but steadily. And uh, once the uh, we have a little bit more water I will just start dumping uh, liquid water on top of that and uh, I'm going to uh, disable this building because um, I don't want um, uh, what it's called do -do 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 -do. wall heavy watt joint plates I don't want uh, any of these things over here otherwise they will just leak heat I can do just this and uh, it's precisely the same thing right we won't bother too much with that in the near future uh, I think that's enough salt water so once this is done I will switch it into um, liquid water and then I'll just uh, put the uh, Uh, steam generator on top of that, and uh, yeah, we should be done any moment now. Alright guys, so we don't have the same amount of water that we had in our previous cooling loop, but uh, this one doesn't need as much, so there's no need for us to wait uh, forever for them to deliver the water. Now it's just a matter of having them uh, turn on the uh, power transformer, like today please. No? So many of you, and no one can flip a switch. Mm, thank you, Nails. Thank you so much. You're a godsend. Fantastic. So now I'm going to set this to 30 degrees. 
trying to maximize uh, as much as possible uh, this aqua tuner over here. Eventually it will uh, stabilize the temperature. But uh, if we can chill out this temperature um, down to, I don't know, maybe 40, 50 degrees, then, uh, you know, our other cooling loop will not have to work as much. Now, disregard these uh, damaged uh, pipe, these damaged pi pipes, you already know what happened, right? I forgot to turn on the uh, thingy when the uh, cool steam vent uh, erupted. Oh well. Thing hap things that... <gasps> oh no! I am so stupid sometimes. Ugh. How the hell am I gonna fix this? Hmm? Ugh. Like, I can build this part, but I can't build this part over here, right? However, if I deconstruct this before the water goes critical, maybe there might be a way to save this. Let's try this out. Or if we deconstruct the tile directly below the uh, liquid reservoir, no more water will go through, so... Uh, cool. Let's seal this off. And uh, yeah, problem solved. <clears throat> well, maybe a few more things are necessary. I jumped the gun a little bit. Alright guys, so much better much better now. Uh, all the pipes are now correctly connected. All the automation has been also correctly um, put in place. So yeah, finally everything is up and rolling. So once the, uh, this water goes... Um, Above 100C, it should turn into steam, and uh, yeah, the the aqua tuner is made out of out of steel. I did not make that uh, stupid mistake, and uh, you know, these may be made out of uh, lead is not exactly the uh, most important thing. Now we just need to wait for the cooling loop to refill back up. Shouldn't take too long now, and. Um, Okay, so I think this will be done. Uh, this is already powered. Uh, the uh, automation is already in place. This is a vacuum now, so uh, we can turn this off forever. And uh, yeah, time to move on to another project. Now, guys, next project next project should be uh, taming this gold volcano. We could use all the gold that we could get out of this uh, gold volcano so we don't have to turn our gold amalgam into more gold um, yeah I think that would be a good idea and we have plenty of space uh, I think just a uh, steam generator and uh, a little bit of uh, water and uh, shipping uh, rails is all that we need so there is a small issue I kinda need this, the conveyor shut off for the design of the, um, huh, unfortunate, for the design of the uh, teaming uh, thingy that I was building over here. Uh, so, uh, you know what, let's get done with the research as fast as we can. It shouldn't uh, take too long. Our uh, researcher is quite good at, it, at, uh, at his job. So, yeah, because uh, it's quite simple, actually, you put a shut off right here, right? And uh, a temperature sensor. What is it? Automation. Thermal sensor right here. So, uh, if the thermal sensor detects that the uh, piece of gold is at the uh, set temperature, it will enable the uh, conveyor shutoff, which will send the gold outside of the circuit, circuit for us to, uh, to connect. Otherwise, it will keep the shutoff close and uh, the piece of gold will just. Uh, uh, circle and circle and circle. It will keep on circling around this place and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. However, there is a um, design change that I must uh, correct because you need a uh, bridge over here. Come on, game. Okay, game. Whatever. It needs to be like this. There we go. Uh, and the reason for that is just so we don't uh, over um, overfill the line and uh, the loop is always going continuously instead of uh, going in, uh, in hiccups, you know? You probably uh, know what I mean uh, by this. So yeah, 
if we put a bridge over here and a shut off over there in this corner uh, that should prevent it from uh, doing the e cup thing and uh, it will work as um, as we want it to work now I just hmm, I'm just confused on what will be the uh, direction of the thingy because I kind of want to I am kind of expecting a uh, this to hmm. so what we can do to prevent that, right? If we have a loop like this, the game um, will try to go for uh, the shortest distance, right? So if we place the shot off in here, in the middle of this uh, section instead of the corner, the the game will uh, calculate that this is the shorter distance, and therefore we can uh, put the uh, conveyor, the uh, thermal sensor over there, that will read the piece uh, of. Uh, material that we want him to read before uh, activating or deactivating the uh, shut off. So yeah, but first we need the shut off. So let's get researching. So guys, I was uh, thinking, and um, I think it is a good idea to disassemble this uh, natural gas uh, power plant. It's most of the time it's empty, and we could focus. Uh, all of our natural gas in our other more advanced uh, power plant. Now, at first I was a little bit um, uh, not really sure if I wanted to do that because the uh, going above the base and uh, into our industrial area is quite a little bit of a challenge given the um, uh, big spaghetti monster that we have right now. However, there is no spaghetti monster down the base and uh, the uh, natural gas line is already uh, close by, so pretty much what we could do is just put a line just like this. And uh, even though uh, it's still a um, it's still a long way um, from here, at least it's a, quite a straight line, and we don't have to add much um, infrastructure uh, uh, around this we just need to dig a tunnel and uh, we are pretty much uh, set for this and uh, yeah that way we can uh, concentrate our natural gas in our other power plant which will use the use it more efficiently not only that because we have um, we are having a shortage on water our pinches are not growing but that is mostly also because we are lacking natural gas in here to have the power plant running as efficiently as it could be, so that way we kind of solve two problems with one stone and we simplify our base because we remove uh, one big spaghetti monster <laughs> from here, you know, and then we can remove all these um, exhaust lines, simplifying the uh, the spaghetti monster itself, so um, yeah, I think that's actually a good idea, so I'm going to start working on this side project. Alright guys, so with the conveyor shut off researched, I believe... Oh, okay. We can do it like this, no problem. I, for some reason I thought the conveyor shut off was like a, a bridge, of, uh, but uh, whatever. Not really an issue. And uh, for now we can just make it like this. Get out of copper, please. It's more abundant. Yeah, something very simple like this should be more than enough. With a therm thermal sensor right here, the bridge will unload over here because this is the shorter th shortest path to the exit. The uh, flow should be this way, and then circle around. If the uh, uh, automate uh, the thermal sensors. Thermo sensor says to the shut off to be uh, closed. Right? Fantastic. However, this uh, can wait a little bit because our side project is almost complete. We just need to connect this and then we can turn off uh, this place over here. Uh, hopefully, diminishing the lag a little bit. So, yeah, let's give our loops a moment to uh, complete our side project. Alright guys, so with our side project complete, all we have to do is to cut this line over here. Let's give it a good priority. And then we can uh, start diverting the gas away from the uh, this power plant over here. Uh, we will get back quite the amount of resources. These uh, gas reservoirs are all made of gold amalgam. 
pretty much everything in here is made out of gold. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be quite um, the recycling project. Especially because they are here not doing uh, anything. So, it would be a shame. Uh, all I have to do is to let these last uh, puffs of uh, natural gas uh, be burnt. So we don't waste anything. And then I'll give a massive uh, deconstruction order. Uh, hopefully this will help out uh, a bit with the uh, with the less confusion and less uh, spaghetti monster around the place. And uh, yeah. Now, I kind of want to focus on this. However, I am in a little bit of a dile dilemma. Hmm, given that most of my projects, they never work the first time. <laughs> okay. And... Uh, yeah, I was thinking about making a, a liquid lock with crude oil. Uh, probably a double liquid lock so I can have a vacuum. Uh, so that uh, we can trap the heat and not allow it to escape throughout my base. That would not be uh, a good thing. Uh, but at the same time, crude liquid locks in uh, crude oil liquid locks in um, gas chambers, in uh, steam, uh, steam, steam chambers, uh, sometimes uh, they are not going to uh, go so well because uh, the steam will come in contact with the crude oil which will not be in a um, high enough temperature. Uh, what I mean is like the, the steam will come in contact with the, the, the crude oil and it will condensate into water because the crude oil is not hot enough uh, for the steam to man you know, keep being steam. Uh, there will be an heat ex exchange and uh, it will turn into water, it will mess up the liquid lock and I kinda don't want to deal with that. Hmm, I will have to think if um, I want to uh, do maintenance in here or not and uh, if it is worth it to uh, do a liquid lock or not. And uh, Well, to be honest, this is going to take uh, quite a little bit to complete so I will have plenty of time to think about that. After this, and these are done. Uh, we will be uh, claiming uh, resources from the geysers. We should start focusing on the stars. Yep, I am going to start researching or doing some... Yeah, this was me using the filter. Uh, I'm going to start use, doing the research into the um, hydrocarbon propulsion so we can have the petroleum engine. And uh, with that, we should be able to... Uh, explore a big chunk of the map pretty sure but before we can do any of that we need to build a tiny little telescope first so that uh, our uh, scientist Abe I believe can uh, take a look around and see what uh, it go it's going on around the stars so um, let's get that done as well and uh, yeah as you can see the deconstruction of this area has been slowly but steadily uh, been progressing I just didn't deconstruct these pipes over here because there are there is still a little Wait what? Okay, we can deconstruct that. And then we can uh, unite the pipes, please. Uh cuz uh, I built this high pressure gas vent just to uh, expel this little this little bit of uh, hydrogen in here uh, so I can deconstruct this line as well. But yeah, now it's time to get uh, building. Hopefully uh, I will not mess this up uh, too much and we can uh, get it uh, get it going the first try. So, having in consideration that, um, that argument that I had with you guys, uh, I think I'm going to do the double liquid lock. The uh, chances for something to go wrong in here are just too great and... Uh, yeah, I don't want to go through what I uh, went through to do the uh, oxygen room over here. Yeah, this was quite painful, even though the answer was uh, always staring me in the face. Uh, so yeah, double liquid, <coughs> double li liquid lock it is. Um, I'm going to put the uh, pump over here, not the pump, the uh, bottle emptier over here. <clears throat> and uh, fill both of these loops up 
vacuum out this place, or at least vacuum out as much as I can, deconstruct this, and then vacuum it, vacu vacuum it out again, because there is a little bit of uh, oxygen and polluted oxygen over here. And uh, it will be an issue, so we want to vacuum this out before we put any water in there, so the gases don't mix and uh, don't turn all of this into a gigantic mess. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be able to service this. Now, this probably is going to take a little bit of time, so uh, let's uh, skip ahead, shall we? Now, guys, just a quick tip for you. For you. Um, if you are ever, if you are ever wondering how to get a, a little bit of petroleum, you know, um, back in the day, what I used to do was to create a little pool for petroleum, for crude oil, and whatnot, and uh, that would take a long time. You know, I would create just a, like I did for the um, for the water over here, right? So I I would have access to petroleum, but uh, yeah, that's completely unnecessary because all you need to do is come to one pipe of the stuff, right? And just give a uh, extract pipe content, and uh, your plumber will just stay here, uh, removing the um, the content for the liquid pipe forever if you want to, actually, uh, because you know the pipe will continue being supplied, and so this order will never be quote unquote for fulfilled. Like right, let's take a look. Now it is a shame that uh, it comes at uh, 10 kilos at a time, but uh, oh well. Better than go through all the labor of cr constructing a uh, a pit with uh, automation and what and whatnot, right? That way, just a simple command, and uh, you should be golden. Just uh, try not to forget, otherwise you will end up with a bunch of uh, crude oil on the floor that uh, could be n could be used for uh, petroleum. So yeah. Uh, oh no, we kind of. Digged, digged a little bit too much, and uh, the volcano is now spewing uh, refined metals at uh, 300 degrees. That's uh, not good. You see, we are in a cold biome, so we will be able to tank this for uh, a little bit, but uh, not long. So let's upgrade the priority of this project to a uh, possible 7 over here. Uh, this part is the most crucial one, because uh, I can't seal this off. Well, now I can. My idea was I could not seal this off because I wanted them to build over here because I didn't want to deconstruct uh, this part not to uh, to uh, uncover the volcano. But uh, I digged a little bit too much, so uh, and now it's kind of useless. But uh, still, let's uh, build the, uh, the insulation around this place so that uh, we can contain the heat. Uh, it's not going to be... Uh, too much at first, so uh, not a, not a huge problem, but still a problem that requires uh, immediate action. So let's try to be even quicker about this. All right, guys. So the temperatures over here are getting a little bit too toasty. So let's get on with uh, vacuuming out this place, so we can start adding a little bit of water and creating a little bit of steam, because uh, things are already at uh, 200 degrees in some places. So uh, yeah, close to 300. We need to uh, to cool this place out a little bit. Hopefully the liquid lock will now maintain, yes it will, just uh, one more batch of uh, crude oil and I'll be happy. Now some, some dummy, <laughs> made conductive wires out of lead in here, like you can imagine what happens the first time the volcano uh, erupted and uh, the, those hot gases came in contact with the conductive wire, well, it was a little bit dummy uh, out of my what? What? No conveyor receptacle. Okay. Oh, there is no uh, exit. There you go. See? Oh wait, no, that's a bad idea. Because uh, that will come at a temperature, even though it will be around 120 to 150 degrees, that can still create a little bit of... Um, how should I put it? A little bit of uh, steam. From this polluted water. So, what we are going to do, actually, um, as I said, this crude oil will be an issue. However, we could use the uh, hot um, metal uh, to um, heat it up to temperature. Hmm. 
Hmm, yeah, that kind of sounds like a good idea. And, uh, let's cancel that. Fantastic. Let's slow this down a little bit. And, uh, yeah, right now, uh, my main priority, vacuuming out this place, so uh, this heat cannot be conducted to everything around it. You know, the insulated tiles will do their work for a little bit, but, uh, yeah, without a vacuum, they will not uh, hold on forever. And uh, my biggest fear... I oh, don't you tell me. The middle of Gold Amalgam. Oh, okay, okay. Like, uh, I keep t seeing this rail over here, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure my dupes already constructed this. And I, um, it is like the third time, but I never understood what uh, was uh, going on. The gold is being melted because I, I thought I was making this out of steel, because everything in here should be out of steel. So let's replace the line with more steel lines, please. And double check, this is copper ore. Uh, probably should also be made out of steel, just saying. The th thermal sensor, steel, the conversion off is already steel, 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 and uh, that doesn't really matter. Hopefully that doesn't really matter. Because, uh, uh, yeah. Alright, let's do a few replacements. Like, I, I'm going to be honest, I really hate that the game is, keeps switching uh, the materials of the stuff that um, uh, you are requesting, because uh, in your mind you're building sh stuff out of uh, one material, and then only and only then, when stuff starts to melting, do you realize you were mistaken. But uh, this is a quick fix. Now, guys, we are <laughs> we are having a little, little problem uh, because we vacuum out the place or almost vacuum 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 everything out. Um, there was not enough mass to absorb the heat, and so the gold pro uh, propagated it a little bit, touched a steel conveyor rail and uh, melt it. As you can see, there is a little bit of steel on the floor from a conveyor rail that was uh, over here. So yeah, I think I'm going to pause the conveyor rail construction because we need to put a uh, one over here and the bridge over there and another bridge over there. Until I'm able to cool this off, I'm going to build a small pool over here and uh, slowly but steadily I'm just going to drop um, a bunch of water in there. At first, things might get a little toasty, because um, the second the water touches the... Um... Ooh, liquid lead! <laughs> the second the water touches this, uh, the steam is going to be really hot, and we might uh, uh, overheat a, uh, a few things, but uh, we'll repair them, and eventually everything will be up and rolling. Uh, it is unfortunate, however, that we are probably going to end the, um, the build, and then the uh, volcano will get uh, dormant, but uh, oh well, at least we'll get to test it uh, a few times, I I hope. Alright guys, there is approximately 400 kilos of uh, water in there. Not a lot, but uh, it will have to be enough, the volcano is about to erupt, and I don't want it to wreck more, sh more stuff. Okay, we already... Um... There we go. Now, this is going to suck a little bit, as I said, the water is going to condense in there, it's going to be ugly and messy, but soon the crude oil will get to, into temperature. See? See? There we go. There we go, we start breaking shit. But uh, when uh, we start to get more steam in there, um, hopefully the temperature will not rise as much. But, uh, okay, let's uh, see how... Um, how this behaves. Alright guys, so the uh, early testings show uh, quite a little bit of promise. Um, even with the low amount of steam that we have inside this chamber is more than enough to um, absorb the heat and um, well, nothing overheats. Uh, the, the, auto, the auto sweeper and the uh, conveyor loader, all of that uh, doesn't overheat so the temperature doesn't rise uh, above uh, I don't know, about about uh, 160, 170, uh, according to the uh, observations that I made. And that is more than enough to be absorbed by the steam generator. So, 
With that in mind, all that we are missing were these uh, conveyor bridges that we can now put in place. Nothing will melt anymore. And uh, test this out. So, pretty much, I kind of want to have refined metal, gold over here. This is set to uh, 110. Let's see if this works. Okay, this conveyor rail has gold at uh, 156. Shouldn't uh, pass through. But it does. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, because this doesn't um, disperse heat quick enough for the uh, steam in this tile to rise in temperature to the point that it would be... Um, uh, it would send the thermal sensor uh, into a red signal. So right now, let's call this off. Because we don't want uh, to get uh, all this gold who that is uh, super um, hot off. Hey, where is the... why is not uh, going ar around the place? Because the, the bridge is upside down, that's why. Alright, now that the bridge is in the correct position, yep, that's what I wanted. I wanted for the metal to go... Let's, uh, let's ignore this. Let's ign no one saw anything. A very important question. How the hell did carbon dioxide get in, the, in here? I am... Um... <sighs> okay, okay game. You wanna play games? You wanna play games with me? Alright, alright. We'll see. We'll see. But alright, this is what uh, was intended for it to be a continuous loop until the temperature is uh, acceptable. Of course, that right now the temperature is within the range that we uh, wanted it to be. It is uh, a little bit unfortunate that uh, this didn't exactly work as intended. However, what I can do is set it to a temperature like, for example, 100 degrees, right? Because that means that the temperature inside the chamber is so low that we no longer have steam. And uh, by that time, the gold itself should be cold enough to be able to be uh, ejected out of this place. So, uh, let's do a little bit of monetary... Of, uh, yeah. See, the gold is now at an acceptable temperature. It's all going out. But uh, the second this erupts... I suppose uh, that uh, then the chamber will uh, heat up considerably and then the line will be shut, meaning that uh, no gold can pass. Now, will this melt again? I don't think so, but still, you never know. Yeah, exactly. You see, the second the temperature starts to rise, um, the uh, ther uh, thermal sensor shuts off. Now, there is still uh, one piece or two of uh, gold that get through, but uh, usually it is cold enough because um, they splash on the water and they uh, immediately lose all their heat, so uh, it's not the end of the world. So, I say that the um, chamber is a resound success, actually. I'm... Uh, Quite happy with it. Now that we fixed this thing, uh, it's just a shame that we have a little bit of carbon dioxide in here, but uh, truth be told, it is not affecting the performance of the chamber. Uh, so, I'm not going to build a, a thingy over here just to take this uh, little bit of carbon dioxide from uh, outside the chamber. Not going to happen. So, yeah, we were successful. And look at that, guys. You couldn't even tell that this was a power plant once. Completely gone. And we are still not accumulating too much... Uh, um, natural gas. We are starting to accumulate a little bit. But that, that just means that our production just outweighs our consumption. And so, uh, yeah. Now, even though now the uh, Pinchas irrigation is... Um, 
not uh, looking too good. Don't worry, it's night time. The uh, solar panels are out of commission. That means that this power plant will have to work overtime. And the second the petroleum generators kick in, uh, it is produ uh, these produce enough polluted water to feed at most of the farm anyway. So we, we get uh, enough pinches, I think. Uh, let me not uh, be speaking out of my... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have uh, a bunch of uh, of that stuff laying around the place. I mean, we have a lot of stuff. It's going to be a little bit... Uh, because I, I don't think pinchers... Uh, yep, they don't count as... Uh, yeah. We have 12 kilograms. Oh, I'm so dumb. I could just come over. Yeah. Pepper bread. We have 36 kilograms of pinchers. I think that's more than enough. Yeah, we are not uh, starving. And another change that I made was first I added a few metal tiles because the temperature in here uh, was a little bit too low because of our powerful cooling system. However, I already increased the temperature from 20 degrees to 25 degrees, which appears to have an, impa uh, an impact on this. So I'm going to increase it further to 30 degrees because truth be told, our industrial... Something is wrong with my uh, oxygen chamber. <laughs> uh, because truth be told, um, this area being at 30, 40, 50 degrees, it's not really the end of the world. Nothing will overeat, nothing will complain, so uh, we don't have a problem. Not enough gen... Whoa, 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 what the hell is going on? This just happened, right now. Out of power, out of power. Why are you out of power? Are my batteries dead? No, I have I have power in my batteries. What is going on? <sighs> okay. Okay. Okay, flooding. Yeah, sure. Uh unfortunate. But uh okay. I cannot uh, have this water drop into this tank because uh, yeah, not uh there is a little bit of water in there. Hmm. These are not uh, compatible uh, liquids, so um, hmm. I will have to come up with a plan. But that's for future me to resolve. Yeah, this is an issue, but we have time to solve it. We still have a little bit of oxygen, so we're cool. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'm glad that this popped up, warning me that something was wrong. At least uh, something that works. In fact, uh, let, let me just kill a mob command with uh, high priority. Otherwise, future me is going to forget. Uh, I know myself well too, too well for that. But yeah, guys, this was a, t a resounding success. We completed our um, our second our uh, line over here to disassemble this, meaning our power plant over there is more efficient, meaning our food production is more efficient, and now we can finally focus on space. Let's just uh, do a little bit of a. Yep, we now only need to go into to, to some orbital research. So. With that in mind, future me will focus on fu on uh, orbital research so we can uh, unlock the uh, petrol engine to start making some good rockets. And uh, let me see, did we get anything from the star map? No, we didn't uh, even start it. You, you, you're joking, you're... bro. Invalid location? Future Me will solve it anyway, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this episode and that you are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. But uh, in the meantime, this is the base manager signing out. Bye-bye. Mm,